Hi guys. This is for those people who are interested in yurts, domes, green woodworking, etc. This film is for you. It's already started raining a bit, so I've got to be quick. Here goes. So this is an almost finished outcome. I'll show you some close-ups in a minute. Uh, before, earlier today, I was using these lovely bricks in a pile and this old rotten piece of wood with this on the top to hold the plastic up. Unfortunately, my plastic is still a little bit dirty. I've got lots of work to do on it, but it was being pushed up here at this point um, and so high, so much so that um, the seams, you can see some of the seam here, um, was too much inwards and was creating uh, little tiny puddles um, on the floor from um, where the water was getting in in the seams. So not so good. So I'll put a link to yesterday's video where I was trying to search for some nice straight coppiced hazel. Um, so I chose eight and in the end only used six. And these were my tools. So I cut them to the right length I pinned them down and then I used my draw knife and it was very handy actually. This little piece here, I put my wood under there and it held it down and then at this end I used my clamp and then I could um, draw knife away. She needs a bit of uh, attention, my draw knife, but she still works very well. So I used my scarfed joint as a guide to where I would start. So I put my first pole in the centre of that and then over the other side looks like this. So all my hazel branches um, first had um, points made in the end with my draw knife and then I'd push it up, make the dome the right height for me and then I'd make a mark on the other side so that I would know where to cut and make the point on the other side to go into my holes. So I did that with my first two pieces and then I couldn't do any more with the pole holding up the centre. So I used um, this short piece here and that bit of jute string to basically hold them up in place while I took down this thing over here. And then that enabled me to um, put in the other pieces without the first two kind of falling out of place and kind of flopping all over the place. So once I'd got all the lengths right, these were my next set of tools. <laughs> um, to basically hold them all in place. So you can see my lovely wrapping of jute string that goes all the way around and into the centre. I didn't really even have to do the centre because they were already tied at the edges, but I just wanted to make doubly sure that this was going to be a strong creation and I could basically hang off this and I would feel safe. <laughs> so that's good. And then I just, to tie it off at the end, you can see the loop here. Um, I don't like to put any funny awkward knots to undo, so I just did um, some half hitches around here and then on this side and then I just kind of cut off the end and put a loop on that side so if I ever want to undo it or reuse the jute I would just pull here and then I could easily unwrap it all. It was done in two pieces. So the next stage is to make a solid wood door for my frame here. And I think I'm going to have to go through the fabric on one side with the hinges. And then that means the cats won't come in anymore. And um, I can make this place beautiful and livable in. And hang mosquito nets for people to sleep under. I'm going to have a double bed over here on this platform. I'm going to have a smaller single bed for children. Um, over here I'm going to have a table and um, kind of eating area and then on this side down here is going to be kind of coats and shoes and walking in mat and I've got some nice rugs to put down on the floor 
and it's going to look all lovely. I'm going to put some candles, some lanterns. You just have to kind of use your imagination at the moment. And I'm going to clean all this up so the sunlight can come pouring in. Can't wait to have people here to stay. It's going to be exciting for this summer. And of course our outdoor kitchen will be spruced up with cups, knives and forks, everything you would need to make a nice hearty meal for dinner time. And in the clearing down here we're going to have a compost loo area. And we'll make our bamboo steps a little bit more easily accessible and clean and tidy. You can't really see it yet because all the buttercups are covering it up but I've got a beautiful big stone circle to make up for the huge bonfire area um, so that you can look over this nice view and sit on some little rounded logs for seats. It's going to be lovely. I'll show you the finished outcome when it's all ready and done and dusted and looking beautiful. Bye everyone. <laughs>